Hi folks, today I'm going to show you a cool tool to use to measure exactly uh, for appliances in homes. Um, what we're going to use is a Disto uh, electronic laser, which is very cool because it gives you everything digitally. So when you get one of these, they probably come a little smaller now, I've had this for a few years, and I got it at the uh, National Association of Realtors conference, or uh, maybe it was the International Business Conference for Cobalt Banker, but anyway, they sell them at various vendor locations. You can do different types of units, so you can do meters, inches, feet, or feet and inches. You can do, uh, probably you can see here, you can use linear, squared, or cubed measurements which is great for getting square footages in a room. Uh, but I typically just use the linear one and just do it over and over again. Now it's really handy if you're trying to get a ceiling height. You can look up at the top and you may not be able, well I would not be able to reach any ceiling, but typically it's going to be hard to get a good measurement with a tape because it'll fall down on you. So by using the laser, which points at the wall and does a little red dot, when you when you see the little red dot on the wall, you know that's, that's where uh, that's where it's going to be measuring too. So for appliances though, one thing that's important to do is to measure to the molding insides because you don't want to have a molding that's sticking out and, uh, and then that not be part of the measurement. So you just take the device, put it up to the edge of the most protruding area, do the linear thing, make sure you've got a laser beam on the molding so that it's on the, again the shortest distance. This is for an appliance, I'm putting a refrigerator in here and then measure it. Now I did this in feet and inches and it came out to 2 feet 11 inches and 5 sixteenths. Now that's pretty precise and I'm going to want an appliance that's smaller than that, but that gives you a good idea as to how you can measure and then compensate. 